Hey, hey, welcome back everybody to the channel. If you guys are having a great weekend, I'm exhausted. Uh, so, it's been a long week. It's been a long two weeks, actually. Uh, a lot of stuff has happened with the car. A lot of stuff happened last week. So, the <laughs> reason why we haven't had an update is the GoPro decided to delete all the footage of when I went back to San Antonio and picked up some parts and came back to Waco. So with that being said, <laughs> the block I picked up from San Antonio and drove all the way back up was bad. It had crank walk as well. The machine shop refused to work on it, turned it away, reordered another one, got the new one in, dropped the new one off. So with it being dropped off, I also picked up the head that was finished. So we got a built head with Kel Four uh, 272s in it, stainless steel valves, the uh, the whole GSC setup in it. Um, I'm trying to think, we picked up we picked up something interesting that I actually recorded doing the install on, but because of the fact that it, for whatever reason, when I was installing software on the computer and redoing stuff on the computer it just wiped everything and i just don't know why the gopro wiped it but i'm still gonna give you guys an update i have some stuff that we're gonna be installing today um i am truly sorry for the lack of it, any kind of update i was really discouraged at the fact that i spent three days trying to recover the deleted footage and we cannot recover anything from me driving back to san antonio with the picking up the, the new stuff coming here reinstall like re like redoing stuff and then installing the new parts i picked up uh but at least i'm able to give you guys something now hopefully with the engine being done i think next i think the engine's gonna be done this week coming up they have to do some work on it so it's either a week or two and we'll have the block done and then i still gotta tr get get a hold of a transmission and a transfer gaze but as long as i can get a hold of a transmission i should be able to at least put it in the car and the transfer case can be installed afterwards i uh, still have to order the water pump uh gasket and a bunch of other little things for the block and then i need to order the wall 450 for the tank and then we can put the tank back in uh, i'm going to be sending the diff off to be refreshed and depending on the transmission condition and the t-case condition if we find one probably send them off and get them worked on as well um other than that the car is really solid together i got some bolts for the new subframe or for the subframe to replace them because the rear subframe is definitely in there stuck because the bolts are like stripped out so i'm gonna be cutting those out and we'll be doing tubular front and rear so but with the without any further ado i'm gonna show you guys what we got and go ahead and start the install of the new part so if you guys enjoy the video, thank y'all for coming by. Well, all right guys, so we're gonna talk about what we're doing today. So just gonna show y'all pretty much what we're getting into. So I ordered new drip moldings for the left and right side. Got the Vortex for the bag, the two drip moldings. Going to replace the drip moldings on the left and right side and put the Vortex on. So let's get started.
Oh, that's about the only one that was good. Gross. I just take the air, blow out the entire gap, and then grab some pliers and pull out all the plastics. Yeah. Make sure the new ones came with it. Did it? Huh. At least I knew what the colors are now. I thought I was afraid of the colors. It isn't coming off. Trying to get you a hat. Oh my god. Start. Nah, pop a clip. I just gotta keep some of these because I don't know where some of these go. Everywhere there's a little bent tab. Well, line up one more.
Well, how do you set it then? You got it where you want it? I think so. I don't, I've never, I've never, put, I've never put one on before. It looks like it fits perfect. It, I'm not sure how much further it's supposed to go up on the back. I'm not sure if it's like, supposed to sit like really flush on it. That's it. Does it curve? Will you look at the back from the back side and see if it's right? If it looks center? It looks good. Like it can't really go anywhere else. Is it? Is it on the lip right here? Yeah. Like this, where it makes the <laughs> it's sitting perfectly flush. Okay. Then what do we do now? Oh shit. Are you able to get it? Yeah. This first time feeling trim and easy. Give him a little break. Put it down where you want it. Don't press too hard. Just pull that thing out while you're pressing it down. Take that one. Ta-da! New car! I didn't even think about doing that. Oh. That's how you can do it, set it where you want it. Line it all over. crazy. I need bags to validate me. I need girls to check me out. I need sex to feel the power. I need girls to wash it down. I need some to the side of that sucker. I think it's further up on your, or backwards on your side. Yeah, it is. I don't know. I don't know if I pushed it all the way forward as I could go. Yeah, mine is. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be all the way in or not. We can't change it now. It looks great. You're the only one uh, looking at that close. <laughs> and all the uh, YouTubers watching this, just tell them it's crooked. Write in the, down, down below in the comments, crooked. Crooked AF. It's done. I ain't doing it again. Darn right you're not doing it again.
That call was a hurry up and get home call. So got it? Are you going to get it? Are you done yet? Are you done? 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 Have enough. All right, well, we got everything buttoned up, you know, with the help of my friends over here at Crows. My buddy Everett here helped me out tremendously with getting this thing finished up. It didn't take us too long. A lot of it was trying to figure out how the clips were supposed to set in this. Honestly, once we figured it out and we had to look up a video, it didn't go too bad. The only thing we ended up having to do though, that some of you guys may come in the future end up doing, is right here along where the window and the trim piece underneath the meat, I should have took a video of it, but I forgot to, is the glue for the window was actually like about a meter, like a millimeter too thick all the way up. So this wasn't actually recessing in. So I don't know how the original trim sat in there with it in there, but it did not fit. It would not meet up with it at all. We ended up just cutting it perfectly with the rest of it. And there's still a lot there. So it ended up looking so beautiful. I love it so much better so much cleaner and then we ended up cutting some off the back as well so because this actually this piece actually sits up underneath the glass and grabs it so <laughs> great how that turned out and here is the vortex generator i actually ended up snagging it off of the evo pages it was already black so i didn't have to get painted or anything got it matched up with the Perrin short antenna awesome so we cleaned her up a little bit honestly i did not know that the paint was this scratched up underneath all the dust but it was to be expected spoiler actually turned out to be pretty clean when i was cleaning it up a minute ago we got both sides installed everything's lined up we may have to do some adjusting on the other side we may need to cut a little bit more out on the back right side but it's in there it's gonna be a little bit before getting before it's gonna be driving before i actually have to worry about it but so the thing i want to talk to you guys about and i talked to you guys i briefly talked about it earlier was what i went to san antonio and did so i had to go take the block back so these are not perfect i got them for like a stupid cheap deal that's the only reason why i even mess with them but i managed to snag some carbon fiber fenders i need to put the bolt back in here put it back up <laughs> whoever <laughs> I guess pissed off the previous owner, you know, they scrap, they keyed the car. So this already, I've already got a quote on it. It's going to come out. The guy's going to do it whenever he gets a chance. 
Uh, so we got the carbon fiber fenders we picked up. They will need to be aligned a little bit more because right here it doesn't fit perfect at all. But I mean, they were cheap fenders. This side, it fits perfect. Everything lines up. The only thing I need to figure out is how to adjust this, which I think is just bringing the fender in. Uh, I think it needs to be notched. It's some, I think these are just cheaply made fiberglass, carbon fiber, or whatever the hell they're actually made out of, but maybe a mixture of both. But on this side, I don't know if something fell and hit it, or if maybe the same person that keyed that side just decided to mess up this side. But I mean, honestly, not having fenders at all and snagging these for like 300 bucks was like stupid cheap. I mean, I couldn't, I, I can't complain. <laughs> There's not even fenders at all is like, it's just a killer mood on the car not to have anything. But honestly, I mean, it looks really great with, I mean, obviously adjusting the pieces back. She's one piece now. Everything's on her. Uh, I've definitely have already considered what we're going to do for the future for the paint. So we are probably going to end up painting her probably the Evo Red because there's a lot of bad spots in a lot of the places like on the roof like here like right here places like this are all across the roof where i guess i don't know if some dirt sat for a while and then there's dent there's dents up top like hell damage but there's also scratches like right here it's going to need to be redone the hood's probably going to be replaced. I'm probably going to replace it with a carbon hood because this one underneath the underside of wherever the guy cut this crap out, literally the hood is just so floppy underneath when it's like loose. And then we're definitely going to have to get the car repainted because right here, make sure I actually got the camera on this thing. Right here, that's rust. Right here, all along this trim. So I think when I get the car redone, I'm going to have all this trim replaced around the windows. So that's why we got this as well because this wouldn't even it wouldn't let me put the vortex on when i went to pop this up the re, the previous one all of them came loose all of them snapped like as soon as i lifted this barely up to put this on these old ones over here they just started breaking they're real brittle they're just real brittle and couldn't do nothing when they're honestly since they were already like messed up i just said screw it and decided i was going to replace them but with that all being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you guys. And I would like to let you guys know that we hit 100 subscribers. That means we get a custom URL. Yes. So thank you guys all so much for viewing, watching. I'm tired. If you're enjoying it, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And hopefully see you guys next week with another update. Uh, new stuff that's going to be done hopefully with the frame and some of the under stuff, I need to go ahead and pick up that pump so we can at least put the fuel system back in and start running it. Um, another update I was gonna tell you guys about, I got my head back from the machine shop and I would love to show you guys, but I think we're gonna do a big YouTube video on that so you guys can see everything that's gonna be done all in one go. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. And see you next week.